Hi, it's Gwyneth from Feel Good Coaching and Consulting here, helping you with how to uh, put together your answers for interview questions. Because you know, when people get to interview, it's not the technical stuff that they fall down on. You know most of the processes and things. There might be some new software that you have to deal with, but it's when you have to talk about yourself, when you have to start promoting, marketing yourself, where you have to be clear about what your personal brand is that most people fall down. And today I want to talk about strengths and weaknesses, because again, this is a very, very common question that a lot of people get in um, interviews and a lot of people make a huge mistake by trying to m turn weaknesses into strengths and strengths into weaknesses. Let me give you an example. Some people will say, well, so, you know, some people do criticize me because I'm very pushy in my team and I push them to get deadlines done and I, I think it's really important. I don't like people being late, but on the other hand, it makes sure we get the, the work done and then everybody's happy. So they've talked about weakness for being criticized for something, but they turn it into a strength this is what uh, the boss wants. It doesn't work. <laughs> but on the, on the other way around, you, you know, um, one of your strengths, well, I'm always on time. I meet all my deadlines. Um, I think it's really important for us to, to support the people that we're working with to meet all those deadlines. Although I appreciate that that might also be seen as a weakness um, because not everybody is on the same level. Not everybody has the knowledge to be able to do the work that I'm asking them to do that doesn't work. Do you see? When you're talking about strengths and weaknesses, never, ever, 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 never, is that clear? Never talk about characteristics. Characteristics are purely based upon judgment of yourself about yourself and other people about you. They are personal opinions. Characteristics cannot be changed. If you think you are something, there's a good chance that you've been thinking that you're that person for a very, very long time and you are not going to change. If you've got somebody on the interview panel, a hiring manager, who actually enjoys getting to work at 9.30 or 10 o'clock because they stay until much later and they know that, oh, crikey, I'm going to have this person on my team pushing me to be on time, pushing me to get the deadlines, knocking on my door every five minutes for guidance. Uh-uh, doesn't matter how good your qualifications are, thank you very much, I don't want that kind of pressure in my team. If you get a strengths or a weakness question, talk about skills. From a strength perspective, you can link it to how you are going to contribute to the team. What are your strengths? One of the things I really, really enjoy is working with numbers. I'm constantly learning about numbers. I'm completely up to date with Excel. Um, I'm completely up to date with software programs, whatever, with numbers, okay? It's a strength and you're learning and you love numbers and you keep on learning. No pressure. Weaknesses. Well, Again, you have to look at that job vacancy notice, read it 50 times. Is there something on there that you don't know how to do perfectly? It might be a different type of software that the company or the section or the department is using. It might be a different language that is not essential, but might be needed. And again, you know, if you say, if they say, what do you consider to be your weaknesses? Well, I don't speak French, Russian, Spanish, Chinese, English, German, French, Italian, whatever. Um, However, uh, you know, this job application is really, really important to me and I've already enrolled in language classes to learn. When you can demonstrate, A, that you recognise what you contribute and what you don't contribute, and B, if, if there is a weakness that you don't have a specific um, piece of knowledge that you are ready to learn that new skill, it's a completely different ball game. So to, to recap very briefly, when you're talking about characteristics, it can be judged. You don't want to do it. When you're talking about strengths and weaknesses, if you ever get those questions, make sure that you have understood what your strengths and skills are. Also that you have read that job vacancy notice 50 times so that you have identified a skill on there that you might not have or it might not just be up to par but you still really want the job and like I say every time if you've been invited for interview somebody somewhere thinks that on paper you meet the requirements of the job.